Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about an express carb clean uh, slash rebuild in a way. Um, if you're having hesitation problems with your beetle, uh, there's some screws there we're taking out to take the top of the carburetor off. If you have some hesitation problems with your beetle or some performance issues and you're getting off the line and you're getting hitting a flat spot, it could be that your carburetor just needs to be cleaned out. If your car sits for a series of uh, months and you're not running it for a lot, a, t a lot of times the, uh, the gas gets very gunky and dirty especially with ethanol these days. So uh, what Larry just did here is just took the top of the carburetor off. That gasket seems to be okay over there, so we're going to leave that the way it is. We just took the float out. And then now what you can do is start looking down into the, into the bowl of uh, the carburetor and see if there's any sediment down there. A lot of times there's a lot of dirt and sediment and grit, and it doesn't take much for these cars to start having an issue uh, with, with performance and hesitation. So... And what we're going to do here is there's a little accelerator valve right there. It's like a little faucet, it looks like. And as you can see, when Larry pressed the accelerator arm on the carb, on the side of the carb there, the flow wasn't that good coming out of that little uh, faucet. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop that off. What you're going to want to do is get on a, separate, on a, on a table, just lay out a rag and, and start taking the pieces out and just make sure that it goes on a clean rag. We don't want any other dirt you know, swimming around with this stuff. So... Now Larry's getting out the uh, air correction jet, and that shoots down in the center of the Venturi there on the uh, on the carburetor. And now this jet's a pretty long jet. It's got a, probably about six holes on it, and you're going to want to shoot that with some carb cleaner as well. Uh, you can pick up carb cleaner from your local auto parts store, or you might have some stuff laying around, but that's the best stuff to use this, uh, to clean this out. See that bowl? Sometimes a little sediment down there, and you want to clean that out as well. Now there's a little little valve down here that we're using the rear tail light screws which is a little tip that Larry told me about that screws into this little plunger and underneath that is a little BB like a little ball and that's a uh, check valve for the accelerator pump and there's two BBs that are inside these carbs this is a 1967 carb so it's a 30 picked one and what you can want to do is take that little ball out it's very tiny so you gotta really be careful and that goes right there with that screw and that little plunger that holds that down there and many times down inside that carburetor it's really crappy so you're going to want to shoot that out as well now Larry's taking out the side of the uh, the accelerator um, uh, jet the electronic solenoid I'm sorry sometimes that gets a little gunky in there too now on the, the later carburetors 34 pick carb the that accelerator uh, uh, solenoid will be on the opposite side of the carb Larry's taking out the little plug here that drains the bowl of the carb. A lot of times in the later carburetors, there's also another jet inside that plunger. So check in there as well. Now we just took out the air mixture screw. And we're taking out some of the, the little hats that, you know, plug up the, uh, the vacuum lines on the carb. This little pin is a little brass pin on the passenger side of that carburetor. And you're going to want to pull that out. And again... Down in the little chamber is another small BB that, that that pin holds down in there. And you take that BB out, and then we're going to shoot down some carb cleaner. That's where the BB came out, that little hole right there on the top of the carb. You just flip the carb upside down, and you'll see that that little BB will flow right out. Sometimes you can use a magnet as well if you have a strong magnet to dump it out. And that's basically it. You want to basically take out all the jets it's on the sides of the carb and make sure we didn't. we're not going to take apart the, excel, the accelerator uh, pump right now or take apart the choke but on the top of the carb too you can see here there's a little needle and seat you want to make sure that little the little needle floats in and out pretty well you don't want it uh, getting stuck by any chance now Larry's just using some carb cleaner and just shooting down in all the jets all the little opening holes where fuel would would flow through and you want to make sure all these passageways are clear and many times when you shoot the carb cleaner into these passageways it'll shoot out of another another a hole so you gotta wanna make sure these are all nice and clear and all it takes is a little speck of dirt to to give you issues that's where the little mixture screw goes and as you see when you you know squirt through there it'll come out the top of the carb and where those little BB's came out you wanna shoot down into those holes as well now we start shooting in the jets you know when you have when you're taking the jets out you wanna make sure you shoot and you see look how nice and fast the streams coming out nothing plugged up at all got to be clean also check the flow make sure there's a it's it's uh, freed up and it's not getting stuck and it's it's nice and loose 
And then after sometimes when we use uh, the carb cleaner, we just get some compressed air. If you don't have a compressor to shoot some air in there, you can always go to the, the store and buy the computer uh, compressed air in a can and start spraying through the carb. Larry was just shooting through the, uh, the vacuum, the vacuum line section there, just to get that through. Again, spray it right through all the little passageways, all the openings where the jets are, mixture screws, plungers, you name it, just clear it up. All right, so that air correction jet went right, right, went uh, right back in. Screw it down, but you don't have to muscle it, just so it's snug. Now I'm going to get these little BBs. And that one's going to go, the bigger one is the one that goes in the bowl. As you can see there, you see where the BB sits? Okay, and then you get that plunger. Just stick it right in. And then all you do is tap it. You don't screw it in. It just it just taps in. And then you can screw out the, take out the screw. And then the smaller little BB is where that goes in the front of the carb. There's your hole right there. And then the little brass pin goes in that little hole. Sometimes those pins are shot or gone or very short and you can't even take them out. But if yours is long enough, you can pull it out with a pair of pliers. And then just tap it in. But then you want to just double check and make sure that pin holds down that BB. So flip the carburetor upside down and make sure the BB doesn't you know, fall out because you don't want to be, you know, want that BB on the top of the pin. I'll be shooting some more jets. That's the plunger. Fills up that bowl. And again, if you have the later carburetor, there's going to be another jet inside that bowl. So you're going to want to make sure you put that back in first and then put in the plug. You want to make sure it lines up with the hole in there. There's a hole on the, the plunger itself. And again, just snug it. You don't have to go, you don't have to muscle it. Now, here's the accelerator, the electronic solenoid. Put that in. Make sure you put this in now because when it's on the car or on the motor, it's very difficult to, to tighten this. And again, just snug it. You don't have to go too tight. And there's that little tube that's on the top of the carb that shoots the fuel down into the carburetor. So we're just checking that now and just blasting some air through there. Larry's putting in the air mixture screw. Now, if you have the later carburetor again, the 34 picked carb, there'll be two screws. You'll have the mixture screw and the idle screw. Uh, and by default, you know, I'll, I'll talk about that later, what they're supposed to be set at. And now with this tube, you just want to make sure it's shooting straight down in the carburetor. You don't want it hitting that Venturi passage right, uh, way right there, or hitting the side of the bowl. You want it shooting straight down to the butterfly. And there's a notch on the, the end of that tube that lines up to the notch on the carburetor, so that's how you know you kind of lined up. Just tap it down. Just put a little screwdriver on it. Do a little tap. Make sure it's secure. And that should be good. Now we're just cleaning up the little float that's next. You just don't want any dirt or grime or any sediment at all passing through the carb. Put a little needle in, a little hinge. Attach that into the bowl, and it flops right down. That's fine. And there you go. There's the top of the carb. Now, just bolt the top of the carb back on. Now, if you had a gasket kit, you would want to change the gasket on that, uh, on the carburetor, on the top there. Uh, also for the choke and uh, the accelerator pump. Just snug these down. Again, this is an express clean. This is not a rebuild. So this is something for carbs that run, but just need a little tweak. We start to mount it on the motor. We got ourselves our handy little S wrench with the 13 millimeter on the end and tighten it up. Again, this is a 67 carburetor. It's a 30 picked one. And I recommend trying to stay German when all possible. Put your fuel line on, and of course, don't forget your clamp. 
Make sure you just tighten her up. Again, you don't have to muscle these. Get your distributor back on. We're just using an 009 here for now. And here's your two wires, your choke and your uh, solenoid wire. Make sure all the wires are hooked up. Larry's just setting the idle mixture screw kind of default, maybe five half turns out once you bottom it out all the way in. Now I did about six turns out after I bottomed. Here we go. Ready? Got to just give it a little gas. The carb is empty. Beauty. Idling good. Just let it warm up a little bit. Give it some time to warm up. Make sure the choke comes off, and now you can start accelerating. Sounds good. Got rid of that hesitation on the takeoff. Awesome. Got any questions? Please email me, Chris at classicbwbugs.com.